Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome back. Uh, I'm so happy to be home. Uh, HOA and I have been traveling a lot. We went to Costa Rica to see a good friend of ours, Nate Bright, and then I was at Fluid Art Boutique in Santa Fe, which was so much fun, and we had such a lovely time. Um, I, if you have a chance to go there, go, because it was really fun, and there were a lot of great little shops all over to explore. <laughs> so, um, I'm very inspired by that sort of southwestern color palette with the dark oranges and the, the reds and the whites and the yellows. It was really, really beautiful there. Um, so tonight we're gonna do a pour with some of those colors and I'm so happy to be back painting with you guys. So let's get started. This is a 24 by 30 inch gallery wrap canvas from Artist's Loft. I like this size a lot. Um, I enjoy the bigger canvases because I feel like they give me more room to play. So. Okay, and this is a 24 by 30 inch gallery wrapped canvas. I have painted my sides and edges and I have taped and pinned the back and we are ready to go. So let me show you the colors we're working with because I love these colors. I'm so excited about them. This first one is Golden's Burnt Orange, Quinacridone Burnt Orange, and my pouring medium tonight I mixed up with the Liquitex Extra Heavy Gel Gloss and Floetrol and a little bit of water and then I added my paint and then a little bit more Floetrol and a little bit more water. So lovely and thick leaving a mound on a mound before it sinks into itself but not very thin. So that's our Quinacridone Burnt Orange. The next one is the one that I've been having a love affair lately with. This is Amsterdam Pearl Yellow. Beautiful. <laughs> gorgeous color. I really am having so much fun with this. We brought it to uh, Fluid Art Boutique also and it just turned out so beautiful in the pieces. I love how this dries. It's a gorgeous light gold uh, with a little bit of a yellow sheen to it. So very, very pretty. I love this one. The Pearl Yellow from Amsterdam. Next we are using one that is not new to me but I haven't played with a lot. This one is Atelier Red Gold. You see that HOA? Mm -hmm. And you can find the Atelier paints at Fluid Art Co. So that would be fluid-art.co on their website. And it's a really, really pretty color. This is red gold. I love this. I'm so excited about this. Especially, I think it's going to be gorgeous. So that's the Atelier. Um, I'm also using some Tevio Studios uh, Iridescent Precious Gold. It's a beautiful color. And it dries very, very shimmery and very, very beautiful. I love this. So that's the Pevio Studios. And then last but not least, this is another one I haven't used very often. This is Naples Yellow Light. And it looks white. But um, in pieces that I've used it in before, I'm definitely getting a yellow HOA. Do you see yellow in that one down there? I do. Because it has to be from this. So it does show up as a yellow which I'm excited about, but I'm still probably not going to use very, very thick layers of this. Oh, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. So what I want to do, flip cups. I like using flip cups for my big canvases because first of all, you can do them one at a time and kind of see where you need the paint and put it where you need it. I also love the fact that you can lip it with the edge of the cup and create interest and create composition and design. So that's what we're going to do tonight. We're going to start with a little bit of that iridescent precious gold, just a little bit, and then we're going to put some quinacridone burnt orange in there, kind of a thicker layer of these colors, and then we're going to come in with the red gold from Atelier, and this dry is so pretty, it's beautiful. And I'm going to put some of that Naples Yellow Light. Not nearly as big a layer. Then a little bit more gold. And back to the burnt orange. It's like velvet. Oh, goodness. And I'm going to do our Naples Yellow Light. Oh no, sorry, this is the uh, pearl yellow. Okay, we're gonna go red gold now. And gold. And the 
of yellow light again. Smaller layers. And back to the burnt orange. Bigger layer. Pearl yellow again. Open the door. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So we have our two cups that we're going to flip out. I also have some titanium white here that I have mixed up with that same base coat, but this one is a, a little bit thinner. So this is going to be our flow extender. And I don't actually want to flip it into a puddle of that. I'm actually going to use some of my other colors. I'm going to pour a little bit of gold kind of in the path that I want to go. And we're going to take this first one. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? Yes, my love, I am ready. Here we go. Okay, so there's our first cup. I'm gonna give it some magic taps. <laughs> I don't know that that actually does anything, but it sure makes you feel like it does. Okay, and we're going to... Get Lip this. it good. Are you ready, darling? Dun, 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 dun. Yep. Okay, here we go. And we're gonna just move this around a little bit, slowly letting the paint out. That's really pretty. I like that. Put that right there. Okay, I love what is happening in here. This burnt orange with that red gold and the bur and the burnt orange is really, really pretty. Okay, that's good. I'm happy. All right, <laughs> we're going to put a little bit more gold down, kind of over here, which is where I want to flip the cup. And we're going to flip right into that. Uh, then you're going to go that way? Mm, maybe. No, I'm probably going to get it touching this one. Oh, okay. okay. And then we're going to do flow extender. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? I lost Samper Paratus. Here we go. Okay. And that's cool looking. I love these colors together. It's just so beautiful. HOA, do you remember when we went to the Grand Canyon and we were in Sedona? And it oh, was yeah. like those red mountains, those that red, rock. Yeah. Ugh, so beautiful. The iron content in the ground. It's so pretty. Okay. All right. I'm going to try to flip this one, and if I'm moving it around, I'm going to try to get it to touch the sides of this one because I want them to be kind of one continuous. So I'm actually going to move it over there. Okay, are you ready, darling? Yes, my love. Here we go. Okay. That's cool. Just let that sit there for a second. This is really pretty. I love all these waves and these lines. Really, really cool. I'm very excited about this one. Okay. So let's get those out of the way. We're going to put some of our flow extender around this on this side mostly I'm just taking my time with this is because you want to let your pores especially flip cups percolate for a second as we sit here the specific gravity sort of levels out and the paints end up where they want to be and some rise to the cell the surface and give us these really cute little cells we're also going to torch it right now Okay. 
the last of my white to mix this all up so all right this is looking really really pretty I'm happy with this um I think we're gonna go off this edge first I'm just gonna move this a little bit more so we're just gonna make these two puddles into one and then nice and slow we're gonna walk this down to that corner Just go over the edge. And I'll bring this back to the center and walk it down this way. I think it's really cool. I like it a lot. I'm happy. I don't want to do anything else to it either. <laughs> gold with it with a little bit of that um, the gold in there and the Naples yellow and I'm confident that the pearl yellow is going to show up as it starts to dry so this is cool I like that I'm happy I like this is why I like flip cups for bigger canvases because it gives you a lot of control all of these lines we created while we were tilting and while we use the cup to lip the pour, so. All right. I'm actually not going to torch it again because I don't want a lot of little speckles coming up underneath, so. But this is looking pretty cool. I will show you guys when it's dry. Thank you so much for hanging out with us tonight. We will be right back. Okay, so this is the next day. 
not dry yet <laughs> but looking really beautiful you can actually see down here on the edge where it is starting to dry and the colors are just getting deeper and more vibrant but I love this piece I love how it's turning out and you can see up here where there's the pearl yellow starting to dry it's gonna leave a really pretty gold it's gonna be just beautiful so this is pretty cool looking I'm very happy with how this looks very happy with how it's drying I think there's gonna be a lot of very beautiful shimmery effects down in here when this is all dry and I love the yellow that's popping up that has to be the Naples yellow light and um, some of the pearl yellow so this is really really pretty so I am excited about this one I will show you guys when it's dry in the next video <laughs> thank you for being here I love you all it's great to be back home we'll see you soon